Hello. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to try to show you how to uh, download, install, and use a uh, very nice uh, marine plotter program that is absolutely free that's available on the internet. Okay. The first thing we're going to do here, we're just going to go to the site where you can download this, and that's at uh, www club cruceros dot net and load up that site and hopefully if my internet connection is decent it'll come up okay it did and um, the first thing we're going to do here is you can explore this site later but we want to go down here to this cruiser resource area and we're going to click this uh, little picture here to bring up that page and then we're going to get down here a little further and we want to go to this site here this uh, DJM Questor software uh, this stands for David J Miller Questor software. All right, and we're going to go right to this link here and click that. Okay, and now you're in his uh, software page, and the one we want here is Marine Plotter, right here, and we're going to click that. All right, now we're in the Marine Plotter page, and this uh, you can read this whole thing, but I'm going to show you basically how to get this up and running as quick as possible. Okay, you're going to download four items. First of all, uh, you want to download this item here. And save that file. And then you want to download this one. Save that file. And you want to download this. I'll tell you why later. Save that file and download this and save that file uh, now we'll go on from there once all your files have been downloaded you need to go to where they are stored on your computer uh, now I'm running uh, the newest version of Firefox and uh, you can get to the downloads on uh, with this by going up here to this little arrow, uh, clicking it, and you can select the last one that you downloaded. You can right click on it and you can select this uh, uh, item here. It says open containing folder and it'll go directly to my downloads folder. Uh, but there's another way to get there too and I'll show you that way also. Let's close this. Uh, let's close Firefox, close the tabs. And we're going to go down here, of course I'm running Windows 7, uh, to um, Windows Explorer, which is this little thing, the icon right here. And I'm going to bring up Windows Explorer. And uh, if you look over here on the left, uh, under Favorites, uh, you'll see a folder called Downloads. And you can click that. And all my files that I just downloaded are in this folder. Okay. Uh, the, one that it, the ones that I want out of here... Uh, in fact, I'm going to move them to the desktop so it's easier to, to work with them. I want this one here called Setup. Okay, I'm going to move that one over here to my desktop. Say Move. Okay, and in order to do that, I'm, um, I, I want uh, uh, this one here. Okay, I want Setup Marine Plotter, and I right-click on it, drag it over, and say Move. Okay. And let's see, and I want this one here, Marine Plotter Data. I'm going to right click on it, drag it over, and select Move. And then Marine Plotter uh, Charts, I want that. I'm going to right click on it, drag it over, and say Move. Once all your files have been downloaded, you need to go to where they are stored on your computer. Uh, now, I'm running uh, the newest version of Firefox, and uh, you can get to the downloads on w uh, with this by going up here to this little arrow, uh, clicking it, and you can select the last one that you downloaded. 
you can right click on it and you can select this uh, uh, item here it says open containing folder and it'll go directly to my downloads folder uh, but there's another way to get there too and I'll show you that way also let's close this uh, let's close Firefox close the tabs and we're going to go down here because I'm running Windows 7 uh, to um, Windows Explorer which is this little thing the icon right here and I'm going to bring up Windows Explorer and uh, if you look over here on the left uh, under favorites uh, you'll see a folder called downloads and you can click that and all my files that I just downloaded are in this folder okay uh, the one that it, the ones that I want out of here now in fact I'm going to move them to the desktop so it's easier to, to work with them I want this one here called setup okay I'm going to move that one over here to my desktop say move okay and in order to do that I'm uh, I, I want uh, uh, this one here okay I want setup marine plotter and I right click on it drag it over and say move okay and let's see and I want this one here marine plotter data I'm gonna right click on it drag it over and select move and marine plotter uh, charts I want that I'm gonna right click on it drag it over and say move all right let's close uh, Windows Explorer so we can uh, see what's going on here I'm gonna close it right here and now I need to give you a little bit of background information. Uh, this program that you're installing was written in a um, um, a type of programming language that needs what's called .NET to be installed on your computer. Okay. Uh, in order to find out if .NET is installed, that's why we have a setup program, and that's why we have a separate setup for Marine Plotter. This setup program here, all it's really for is to check your computer to make sure you have .NET installed. So let's do that. All right, I'm going to start off by running the setup.exe program right here. Double click on it. Let's tell it to run. And, and I'll just accept this. And what it's doing now is it detected that I did not have .NET installed, so it's going, it's tr attempting to install .NET for me. Okay, now it's asking me if I want it to make any changes. I say yes, and the screen goes away for a while, and it comes back and it starts installing the .NET framework. .NET is something that is required by some programs uh, programs that have been written fa fairly recently okay through the magic of uh, computer time compression uh, we're to this stage here uh, when uh, because uh, the the dot net framework takes a while to download and install so we skip some of it uh, when setup got done installing it for you uh, it would automatically run the Marine Plotter setup program, which is the other setup program that's on the desktop. And it would bring you to this point right here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and install a Marine Plotter. We click Next. Uh, we agree to the terms of the uh, license agreement. Next again. And here you can decide if you want it to be installed uh, on your root drive, which is usually C or you can install it someplace else. In this case, I'm just going to install it on the root drive. And again, and also you might want to say whether it's for everyone or just you. Uh, and then we'll say next again. And finally, it's ready to install it. And we say next once more. All right. Once it uh, gets done installing, you'll get to this screen. And uh, at this point here, all we need to do is say close. And Marine Plotter has been installed. Now, it, it doesn't put a, a icon on your desktop. So uh, what I recommend that you do is go down here to your Start menu, uh, select All Programs, go down, scroll down to um, uh, DJM Questor Software, 
uh, Find Marine Plotter and right click on it, drag it to the desktop and then select Create Shortcut here. And that'll create a shortcut to Marine Plotter. All right, before we actually start re using the program, we have to start doing some, some other things to get it ready for Marine Plotter. And that's where we're going right now. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here to this folder here, which is called Marine Plotter Charts. And we're going to, it's a zip folder. Uh, and it, we're going to unzip it. Uh, we're going to right click on it. And we're going to say Extract All. And now it's going to ask you, where do you want to put these files? Now, that's going to depend a lot on you. Uh, on, uh, in Windows XP, uh, you have a thing called uh, My Documents. That's a good place for them. Uh, on Windows uh, 7, you also have My Documents. Uh, they're, in this, uh, they're on the C drive. I'll show you where they're at on Windows 7. Okay, you go into the C drive. You go down to Users. Okay, uh, to, to whoever is the user, in my case it's Alan. Okay, and then you go to My Documents and you select My Documents as being the folder. You can also create a new subfolder under it, but let's just keep, use My Documents as being the folder. So let's say OK. Okay, and uh, at this point here, well, let me think. No, you know what? Rather than put them in just in My Documents, let's browse again. Go to My Documents, click on that one, and say make a subfolder. Okay, And we're going to make a subfolder. Actually, I've already made one, so let me cancel that. Browse once more. Go down to My Documents. Whoop, where we go? There we go, My Documents. And there it is, DJM Questor Software. You select that, and you can decide to put these charts though it's actually just directories into this this folder and you say okay and now it when you extract these these uh, charts or chart folders they'll go into that directory okay at this point here we go down here and we say extract okay it's going to go away it's showing you a little bit of progress Okay, and now they're extracted and it opens up the uh, Windows Explorer to show you that they're in there. Okay, and uh, now that what they're in is they're in this marine plotter directory here. Okay, and marine plotter chart directory rather. Now all these are the sample folders. Okay. Right, we can just close that. We don't need to worry about that. But we also want the marine plotter data directory and we're going to do the same thing we're going to right click on it we're going to say extract all uh, we want it to be uh, we don't want it on the desktop so let's go into uh, computer C users the name of your computer your documents Okay, and um, let's see, is that right? Yeah, okay. Go in here, and yeah, the same one, and we're going to say OK again, and say extract that one too. Okay, and there, now you have the marine plotter charts, marine plotter data, okay? So you've done that. Close this Windows Explorer. Okay, now you've done a complete installation of Marine Plotter. Uh, please uh, uh, look at watch my next video, which will be about running Marine Plotter for the very first time.